and friends in the audience, and welcome to all of you who are joining us uh, uh, across the world. We have a lot of new products and exciting news to share with you today, so let's go ahead and get started. At AMD, we're focused on pushing the envelope in high performance and adaptive computing to create solutions to the world's most important challenges. From cloud and enterprise data centers to 5G networks to AI, automotive, healthcare, PCs, and so much more, AMD technology is truly everywhere, and we're touching the lives of billions of people every day. Today, we're here to talk about our newest Epic Data Center processors, our upcoming Instinct accelerators, and our growing AI software ecosystem. Now, taking a look at modern data centers, what you really need is the highest performance compute engines across the board. Today, we lead the industry with our Epic processors, which are the highest performing processors available. We also offer the industry's broadest portfolio, which allows us to really optimize for the different workloads in the data center. Whether you're talking about instinct GPU accelerators built for HPC and AI, or you're talking about FPGAs or adaptive SOCs or smart mix and DPUs from our Xilinx and Pensando acquisitions. What we'll show you today is how we bring all that together and really expand our portfolio with our next generation data center and our AI offerings. Now, since launching Epic in 2017, we have been laser focused on building the industry's best data center CPUs. Epic is now the industry standard in the cloud, given our leadership performance in TCO across a wide range of workloads. Every major cloud provider has deployed Epic for their internal workloads as well as their customer facing instances. Today, there are more than 640 Epic instances available globally with another 200 on track to launch by the end of the year. Now looking at the enterprise, Epic adoption is also growing, and especially for the most demanding and technical workloads. Whether you're talking about financial services or telecom or technology or manufacturing or automotive customers and many, many more, they're really choosing Epic based on our performance, our energy efficiency, and our better total cost of ownership. And that momentum is just growing as we ramp our fourth gen Epic Genoa processors. Genoa features up to 96 high performance five nanometers N4 cores. It has the latest IO that includes PCI Gen 5, 12 channels of DDR5 memory, and support for CXL. We launched Genoa actually last November and it had leadership performance and efficiency. And since then, there have been other products that have come to market. But if you look today, Genoa is still by far the highest performance and the most efficient processor in the industry. So let's just take a look at some of those metrics for Genoa. Starting first with the cloud, integer performance is key. Using spec and freight and comparing to the competition's top of stack, Epic delivers 1.8 times more performance. Looking at the enterprise, if you look across Java workloads or virtualization or ERP workloads, Fourth gen Epic is up to 1.9 times faster. And perhaps the most important piece is in modern data centers, energy consumption has become just as important as overall performance. And when we designed Genoa, we actually designed that with that in mind. The idea that yes, we want leadership performance, but we must have best in class energy efficiency. And that's what fourth gen Epic does. We deliver up to 1.8 times more performance per watt than the industry, 
compared to the, using the industry standard spec power benchmark. And what that means is that Genoa is by far the best choice for anybody who cares about sustainability. So when we talk to customers, many of them are telling us, actually, they need to refresh their data centers, and they really need to consolidate and get a better footprint and get a better operating cost. This is actually the perfect place for Genoa, and it really shines for these types of consolidations. Now, looking at AI, we're going to talk about uh, GPUs shortly, but actually today, the vast majority of AI workloads are actually being run on CPUs. And Genoa is also the best CPU for AI. The best way to look at AI performance is actually to look at a broad set of end-to-end -end workloads. And so we use the industry standard TPCXA benchmark that actually looks at end-to-end -end AI performance across 10 different use cases and a host of different algorithms. And what we see in this case is that it is 1.9 times more performant than the competition. Now, you can see, I'm tremendously excited about Genoa and all of the applications that our customers are running on Genoa, but it's best to hear directly from our partners. So I'm really excited to introduce our first guest, one of our most important cloud partners, to talk about how they're deploying Genoa in the public cloud. Please welcome our good friend, AWS Vice President Dave Brown. Dave. Hey. 